Well, last week, the Monitor's Mark Wildman reported on the Georgia cotton harvest currently taking place. This week, Mark follows up that report with a story from Coffee County on where the cotton goes once it leaves the field. Out in the cotton fields of Georgia, farmers are very busy harvesting their crop. After the cotton is picked and baled, it has to be trucked away to one of Georgia's many cotton gins. Here at Coffee County Gin, workers work all day and night running cotton through the facility to support this very valuable industry. A cotton gin is a facility that uh, in essence is still doing the same thing that Eli Whitney did uh, hundreds of years ago. We are separating the cotton seed from the cotton lint and packaging the lint in a bale. Uh, and that bale goes from here to a textile mill. This high-tech process works basically the same as it did in the old days. The only difference is the facility has computer technology that moves the cotton through the gin very fast. Without this, uh, we wouldn't have a cotton industry. Uh, you've got to have the lint separated from the seed so you can spin the lint into a thread and weave it into a cloth. So without, without a gin, you don't have a, uh, a modern textile industry. This very important operation is just one aspect of the cotton industry, an industry that still depends on the farmer to produce the best fiber possible. We bring the cotton here on the yard. We weigh, weigh the cotton in and uh, we, we put a tag on it so we know who it belongs to. At that point, uh, we'll take it into the gin and we'll undo the modulin process and then we'll, uh, we'll dry it, we'll clean it, then we'll actually gin it, which is separating the seed from the lint, and then we'll package that uh, lint into a bale. We put a bale number on it, it's graded, and uh, we send it to the warehouse where we wait for a uh, shipping order so we can send it to the textile mill that it needs to go to. 90% of our cotton is going export, so it's going out of the Port of Savannah cotton industry is affected greatly by the weather. And the more wet weather, the slower the process goes. And cotton is not the only crop Georgia farmers produce. The cotton will wait to get picked and the peanuts will not wait. So the farmers are going to harvest all their peanuts really before they ever get started in their cotton. And due to the increase in peanut acres this year, um, it's putting them late getting in the field getting their cotton out. Each 500 pound lint bale of cotton can be used to make approximately 250 pairs of jeans, which means just this one facility can supply an enormous amount of cotton fiber to manufacturers all over the world. Depending on the year, how many acres are grown, we'll gin uh, in excess of 70,000 bales a year. Um, last year, we ginned over uh, 80 days on 24 hours a day. So we run during the fall of the year. We'll start in uh, late September, early October, and we'll uh, run through the middle of the latter part of January. Then the operation will stop until next season, when farmers again will be working hard to keep the soft feel of cotton a part of all of our lives. In Coffee County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.